This is definitely getting interesting. I'm currently running three SaaS products, and even though my business is heavily centered around software, we're actively replacing more and more of our products and infrastructure with no code and AI. It stopped being buzzwords and became actual useful tools you can now use to run your business. In this video, I'll show you seven no code and AI tools that you would have thought unimaginable 10 years ago and how helpful they are in running your SaaS business. First, let's talk about how to create a website. Fast. The first tool I want to show you is Framer. Framer was originally a JavaScript library for handling CSS animations, but they turned into a fully fledged no code website builder. And it's surprisingly good. If you've ever used Figma, you'll feel very at home here. When we start a new project, we get a blank canvas. Now we can combine different blocks of content by simply using drag and drop. We get a ton of different ready-made blocks to choose from and we can set up a CMS collection to handle content dynamically. The app itself is really fast and super smooth to use. We can set up different breakpoints for a phone and tablet and we can see these side by side as we design. And the whole thing is on one canvas that I can move around and zoom in and out freely. And with a single click of a button, boom, my site is live. The biggest disadvantage of using Framer is that it's almost too simple. You can create very basic websites, though you will quickly feel limited compared to tools like Webflow. On the other hand, there's barely any learning curve with Framer. It's super easy to use. I would argue that almost anyone can get a nice looking website ready really fast. And they have another really cool feature. They have a plugin for Figma. So if I have a website designed in Figma, I can easily turn that into a live website super fast. This is very interesting. Let me get back to that in a second. But first, let me introduce Midjourney. Midjourney is an AI technology you can use to generate images from a prompt. This means that you can tell Midjourney what you want to design and combine it with example images to take inspiration from. And it will spit out some really high quality, fully AI generated images. This is incredibly useful. When we want to sell a product, the design and look and feel of the website has a huge impact on the visitor. And Midjourney can help us create really good looking images and graphics for our website. When you sign up for a Midjourney account, you get access to a Discord channel. And you basically use this as a command prompt to give Midjourney instructions for the images you want to create. Then we can download them and add it directly to our website. But it gets even wilder. Framer has a lot of useful ready-made blocks and it makes the website look quite good. But let's take it to the next level. Let's go to Drupal and find a website design we like. Then we're gonna tell Midjourney to use this image as inspiration and give it a small description. There we go. This is perfect. We're not stealing anyone's designs here. We're just letting Midjourney take inspiration from Drupal. Awesome. Let's download it and bring it into Figma. We're gonna use this as the background and we're basically gonna build the UI on top of this image. If you're new to Figma, don't worry. It's an advanced tool and it might seem a bit intimidating at first, but trust me, it's very easy to get started with. Take a few basic tutorials and for this use case, you should be ready really fast. Finally, we're gonna find a plugin called From Figma to HTML in Seconds by Framer. And after a few moments, this part of the page should be ready. We're gonna hit copy to clipboard, create a new page in Framer and hit Control V. Boom. Now we just need to repeat this for each section and page and we have an amazing AI generated website ready to publish right away. No designers, no UXers, no programmers, just you, a few tools and a beautiful website ready in a few hours. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's shift the gears here. Cause in order to get our online business off ground, we need to do that thing everyone hates, marketing. But let me show you a few tools that will make your life so incredibly much easier. Feather is an up and coming tool, but it's actually really incredible. I can set up a blog in a few minutes by using Notion as a content management system and blog editor. Now I have a fast, highly SEO optimized blog for my business and I can use Notion to write the actual content. Feather has basic analytics built in and it also lets me customize the style and looks of my blog using these templates and themes. And if I want to really customize it, I can inject my own custom CSS as well. And the best part, of course, I get to use Notion to write the actual blogs. 
Let's do a quick stop here and let me show you something else. Notion AI. Notion recently launched its own integrated AI, and it's extremely powerful. It can finish my sentences. It can easily summarize descriptions into action items, and it can help me come up with new ideas, all from within Notion itself. But check this out. Ask AI to write a blog post about, let's say, bootstrapping a SaaS. There we go. Let's add a few images. Change things up a little. Hit ready to publish. And there we go. Feather took care of the rest. The blog is now live. Marketing, done. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We still need to take care of social media. For this, I'm using FeedHive. FeedHive is a social media marketing tool powered by AI. So we have this AI chat assistant available directly inside the tool. It's like ChatGPT, but this one is trained specifically to help write content for social media. And once we finish the post, we can let FeedHive's AI grade it to see how well it thinks it will perform. This one wasn't too impressive, so FeedHive will make a few suggestions that might work better. There we go. Schedule it and done. But here's where it gets really cool. We can also combine this with tools like Feather and Notion using automation. With FeedHive, I can create a trigger. And I can call this trigger from any other service I want and have FeedHive publish a post on multiple social media channels. So, for instance, when a new blog post is published from Feather, I use their RSS feed to have a trigger called in FeedHive and it automatically publishes a post to tell my audience about the new blog post. This is truly the power of AI and automation at play here. Also, if you don't already know, I'm the founder of FeedHive. This is the tool my team and I built, and we're quite proud of it. I'm obviously biased here, but do go and check it out. There's a great chance that you can benefit from this as well. Next up, let's take a look at Canva. Canva is an online editor you can use to create professional looking graphic designs. It's really easy to use and perfect for ad creatives and images to go on social media. Recently, they added AI to the mix as well, and it's quite impressive what you can do with it. We can use it to describe an image or background we want to use in our creative. Simply drag it in and start editing on top of that. It's easy to create anything from abstract patterns to very photorealistic images. And these are generated on the fly, so they'll always be unique. It's a great and super fast way to get some nice images ready. The last tool I want to show you is Synthesia. Olivia, maybe you want to tell them. Sure thing, Simon. Synthesia is a tool you can use to create AI avatars for your video. I'm one of these avatars myself. It's very impressive. Thank you. You can use us for many different use cases. Presentations, video promotions, and educational videos. Exactly! I use Synthesia to create internal onboarding videos for my team. Planning and everything else. The software is super easy to use. You pick an avatar from their library and write what it should say. If you want to, you can add certain gestures and pauses and style of talking. Then hit generate. And after a few minutes or so, you have a video of an AI avatar. I just got started with this tool recently and there's so many things I'm gonna use this for. Don't get surprised if Olivia shows up on some of my upcoming videos here on YouTube as well. No doubt, it's hard to build a startup. It takes a lot of grinding and you need to build up an umbrella of different skills. Though, using AI and no-code tools like the ones I've covered here is really a cheat code. If you want to learn more about how my team and I became much more productive using AI, check out this video next. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will see you soon for another video.